<laughs> hey guys, today I'm going to show you why Duncan Coral is such a great beginner coral to keep in your reef tank. When it comes to LPS, Duncan is the one you want in there. <laughs> All right, today I'm going to show you why you guys should keep Duncan Coral in your nano reefs or any reef tank. First of all, it's rapid growth. Most of us like corals to grow quickly so we can see the results of what we spend time doing. So Duncan coral grows really fast. What's really cool about that growth is that it only requires steady water changes to replace calcium and alkalinity as well as calcwasser in your ATO. I've always kept calcwasser in my ATO, but I'm not saying that that's a must. I think with water changes only, you can grow your Duncan corals very quickly. I've had the ones in my five gallon nano now for probably about six months and the growth rate has been tremendous. Super quick, new viewers, water change Wednesday is a question and answer. Now I'm just doing it any night, but it'll be called water change Wednesday. Ask me a question below the video in the comments section. I'll answer it there and then I answer it here. What's really cool about feeding these guys is you don't necessarily have to go in there with a turkey baster and get it right into their oral disc. When I feed my Royal Grama, a lot of the food that I feed drifts around in there for a few minutes and it lands in the mouth of the Duncan coral. So you don't necessarily have to feed it directly, although once a week I put a little bit in a cup with some salt water from the tank and I use my turkey baster. I suck that up and I squeeze it gently into the area up, and I squeeze it gently into the Duncan coral. Just a beautiful coral, guys. Now you can see how many heads have grown in here from when I initially put it in. Flow. You don't want heavy flow at all. You want soft, gentle flow with your Duncan corals. So if it's in a nano, you want the water to be moving, but you don't want it to be blowing it over or... I'll show you the flow. If you look at the movement here, the flow is very relaxed, very easy flow. Let me show you the top of the water so you can see the flow. This is a view from the top. If you look on the left there, the heads there are a little more retracted than the one on the right. And that's because the flow is greater up on the top. If you look at the one on the right, that one is opened more and that's because it's getting less flow. So, so you can see that Tom Reefer at its finest. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Lighting for it is really easy. You only need about a hundred par. You can go a little bit more, or it'll even do it better in a little less. So that part of it is really easy too. You don't need real specific lighting parameters. If you're not sure what your par is in your tank, then I would recommend halfway down. Or below the halfway point for your Duncan Coral. If you're putting it in a really small nano, 
you don't want to put it in with SPS or something that requires a lot of light because there won't be enough distance from the highlighted par to the lower level. In my five gallon, it's all LPS in there except the zoanthids and they seem to be doing really well with the amount of par they have. Although they're not growing that fast right now. The color on these guys ranges from a bluish to a green towards the center of the head. And over time, the stalks will grow. This particular Duncan doesn't have a long extending stalk underneath it. Don't be afraid to water change down below your Duncan. a slime coat around itself and there's no problem with that. So when I do my 50% water change, the water goes below my Duncan coral and when I fill it back up within an hour, it's fully open and doing really well again. Parameters. What I've noticed is that the Duncan does okay in a little bit of nitrate. So if you have five to 10 parts per million nitrate, the Duncan will do very well in that. My old Pico reef toward the end of its life before I replaced it was around five parts per million nitrate. And I noticed at that level, the Duncan really was full and open more. All right, that wraps it up for this one, guys. Have a great, what is it, Wednesday? 